it is not fake news for you to broadcast that this is the greatest nation in the history of the world and the greatest nation this civilization has ever known. Indeed, I'm not saying this uh, to ignore our faults. Indeed, just the opposite. It is to acknowledge them. But this isn't the vice of America, focusing on everything that's wrong with our great nation. It's the voice of America. It certainly isn't the place to give authoritarian regimes in Beijing or Tehran a platform. Your mission is to promote democracy, freedom, and American values all across the world. It's a U.S. taxpayer-funded institution aimed squarely at that. Indeed, this is what sets VOA apart from MSNBC and Fox News and the like. You can give voice to the voiceless in dark corners of the world. You're the voice of American striving. You're the voice of American exceptionalism. You are indeed the tip of freedom's spear. Now look, like many government agencies after the Cold War ended, our international broadcasters, well, they lost their way. Many of you know this. And there were, I'm sure, many reasons. The Soviet Union had collapsed, the wall had come down, names like bin Laden and Zarqawi and Baghdadi weren't widely known. In fact, many wrote that history was over. We allowed security protocols to lapse, and VA lost its commitment to its founding mission. Its broadcasts had become less about telling the truth about America and too often about demeaning America. In 2013, one of my predecessors described the Broadcasting Board of Governors as, quote, practically defunct, end of quote. Look, that's in part why Congress created the role of CEO of the U.S. AGM on a bipartisan basis. And it is again why I'm here today. I, I read that some VA play employees didn't want me to speak here today. I'm, I'm sure it was only a handful. <laughs> they didn't want the voice of American diplomacy to be broadcast on the voice of America. Think about that for just a moment. Look, we're all part of institutions with duties and responsibilities, higher and bigger and more important than any one of us individually. But this kind of sensorial instinct is dangerous morally wrong. Indeed, it's against your statutory mandate here at VOA. Censorship, wokeness, political correctness, it all points in one direction, authoritarianism cloaked as moral righteousness. Similar to what we're seeing at Twitter and Facebook and Apple and on too many university campuses today. It's not who we are. It's not who we are as Americans. And it's not what Voice of America should be. It's time that we simply put wokeism to sleep. And you can lead the way.